half a teaspoon of um, white vinegar. This is tomato puree. And some uh, tomato paste. Mm. Right now you have to just put some sugar in it. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of sugar. And half a teaspoon of salt. I think it's uh, getting close. Yeah, 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 it looks good. This is tomato sauce. And half of it. Warm water. Put in some light soy, about three tablespoons. So you need the sauce hot when you put the yep. crab in? Turn it on on high heat. How do you know when it's cooked, Alex? Uh, normally you get a very red colour in the, uh, on the shell. And once it's finished, you just put it in an egg. So you get this, uh, you thicken it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get a good flavour, a good combination of egg and tomato sauce. Mm. Um, and it's ready to be served. That looks amazing. Oh, wow, look at that. Try this for the meat. We can dip it in some of the sauce too. Oh, that is an absolutely amazing taste. No wonder it's a national dish. Tropical fruit is a great way to finish a Singaporean banquet, but a food-obsessed country has many of its own recipes as well. Bubu Cha Cha is as fun as its name. Dessert we always use as um, as offering to the gods. Oh, really? Yeah, do you know why? Why? Wow, it sweetened uh, the temper of the gods and bring us a lot of good luck and also lots of money. So what I want to do now is just to peel off the outer layers of the taro. I'm going to cut into a round shapes. You can oh. use different shapes and sizes up to you. You can use diamond shape, flower shape. So what I'm going to do now is steam the taro instead of boiling them. Mm. And it's potato. Can you see how beautiful the color is? Okay. okay. So how long does it take? And uh, it goes around 20 minutes. We're going to boil our sago. Okay, and as you dump it in, the water could be boiling. So now we're gonna pop in our palm sugar, which we just shaved earlier. And we're gonna add our coconut water. We're, going, we're just gonna add our pandan leaf. We tie it into a knot and crush it. Remember, make sure ah. you crush it. And then we're just gonna dump it in here. And now what we wanna do is add our coconut cream in there. The secret is uh, do not overcook your coconut cream. Mm. It will tend to split. Before mm. it just boil, remove the pandan leaf. And you call this coconut soup? Coconut soup. It's like a soup. I'll drink it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a sauce, but actually yeah. a soup. So now we're just going to put our taro and this potato. Can you see how beautiful the color is? And we're just going to put a few pineapples in, make it beautiful. And the light sheet, I like to keep them whole. It looks beautiful as one piece, actually. And last but not least, beautiful color saga. This is our beautiful, beautiful coconut cream. Pour it over. Mm. Mm. It's beautiful. I love your coconut soup. Yes, yeah, mm. fabulous, isn't it? Mm. Mm. This is so beautiful. That's a really, make it now. really good Asian dessert. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you. On our next food safari, the exuberance and colour of Hungarian food, from goulash to luscious cheese and cherry strudel. Lovely. Happy hour. Yes, happy hour. Just fun for happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> what do I have first? Drink or it can be less? Oh, that's a hard decision. Um, what do you think? I think let's let's have a little bit. I think I better have my tiger first. This looks so good. Mm. Oh, there's something to die for. <laughs>